Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, THB, and uh, this is what I look like. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, yeah, that's me. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> that's freak stuff in the background. Anyway, uh, today is the 4th of July, and today I'm just gonna be going outside. I live on a huge hill, so uh, you can see fireworks from all around, and I'm gonna be, you know, taking a video of it, showing you guys. Uh, basically what it looks like um, up on the hill. I'm actually going to be taking the video from the deck probably, so I'll go out this way first. It's going to get dark. It's going to get real. Now we turn this light on. It's a little bit better. Alright, so let me show you. Okay, so you can see fireworks from all around. Those lights out there, uh, that's basically my school district stadium, and they're going to be shooting them off there pretty soon. But all across the sky, you can see all the way over there, there's fireworks launching over there. Doesn't want to focus, but um, they're launching them off pretty close to here, actually. You'll see. America. <laughs> it's actually pretty close to Shooting them off a little. Let me get closer. Oh crap. There's a better view. I think that was the end. They've been shooting off for a long time, too. Ah, that was some money right there. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> they launched them off everywhere. Man, I freaking love America. It's great. Doesn't want to focus. Come on camera, you know you want to focus. It doesn't like to focus right now. I think it's on autofocus now. Maybe, yeah, uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. This really isn't my camera, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's 4th of July. Uh, um, it's gonna get dark here. But, yeah. America's pretty crazy with their pyro stuff. <laughs> just waiting for the show to start, so. Let me just walk in here. But, yeah, um, a lot of fireworks going on. Let me show you guys what, uh, I'm gonna be launching off. Alright. So, get all this stuff out of the way. My room's in a mess. I don't have much left. I didn't actually go out and buy them this year. But, uh, basically, all I have are these sparklers. Um, I had other stuff. I just don't know where I put it. Um, it's kind of bad when you don't know where fireworks are in your house. Um, let me try to find them. <laughs> I had more, more explosives in my arsenal. <laughs> let me try to find them, I'll be right back. Alright, so I found them. And, uh, they're really small. These little lightning flash things. They're really, really, really small. So, uh, let's see. Why won't this thing focus? There. So, 
yeah. <laughs> um, I don't have much. Here is basically my supply. Oh, I got some hockey tape and scissors here. This is basically my supply of explosives this year. Man, I wish I could blow more stuff up. Anyway, let's see if those fireworks started yet. Nope. Are they blowing more stuff over there? What are they doing? Don't tell me. <laughs> They're everywhere, man. Fireworks are everywhere. That one's pretty good. Doesn't want to focus right now. It's too far away. Yep. So I'm still waiting. I'll adjust my hat. So I'm still waiting for the show to start, but um, it's gonna be good. Um, people outdo themselves. Sorry, I'm kind of looking up that way. Uh, I'm looking at the preview thing. I really shouldn't do that. Yeah, that's my first time really using a camera. So, um, what? There's a moth in here. Alright. I'm hearing bursts of explosives come from everywhere. <laughs> That's what's so great about Fourth of July. I mean, I love explosives. I'm taking my hat off. Um, so, yeah. Weak, weak, weak supply of explosives. It's something. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you whenever the show starts. Alright, later. So, here is the fireworks show. I decided to mute the audio of this part of the video um, for two reasons. Uh, the first reason being it's pretty far away where the fireworks are, so you don't really hear the boom. And also, I was having a conversation with my family, and you know, they aren't uploading the video and, you know, they probably don't want to be on YouTube. Um, some of them actually have issues with me doing this. They say uh, it's like a violation of privacy or something and everyone's out to get you. I don't know. But whatever. But the fireworks this year, I was pretty pleased with them. Honestly, they were pretty good this year. Um, they were definitely better. You know, watching them from my house is going to be nowhere near as good as watching them close up, like, at the stadium where they were launched. So, basically, where they were launched from is they were launched from my high school football field stadium. I'm not sure exactly where they launched them from, but that's where you obviously go to watch. But they, um, I guess they launch it from there. I'm not, I'm not really sure on exactly where they launch it, but that doesn't matter. But... Basically, the stadium is about 10-minute trip to get there by car. So, you know, these fireworks are pretty far away. They're a couple miles out. And living up on a hill is really cool for 4th of July. It's probably 10, 20 minutes before this fireworks show started. You could just look across the sky, and almost in every direction, you could see some sort of fireworks show going on. And that's what was really cool. Um, whenever I first moved here, I used to live in a valley, and, you know, in a valley, we would always, like, go out to a city, which we live close to Pittsburgh, so we would go out to Pittsburgh and watch fireworks, because we were in a valley, but now that we live up on a hill, you can just look around the sky in 4th of July, and you will see fireworks everywhere, so, you know, it's just something I've always loved. Uh, as a kid, I just loved fireworks, and now that I'm getting older, I still love fireworks just as much. I don't know. I don't know if all Americans are pyros or something, but I don't know. Chinese people must be even more pyro than us because they're the ones that invented the crap. So, But fireworks are just fun. I don't know why everyone just has this need. to like Watching fireworks for me is pretty cool, but setting them off is what's even more fun. And uh, that's what's just really, really, really fun about 4th of July. Whenever you buy a whole bunch of fireworks and just set them off, that, that's just great. So basically, 
the reason I sound a little bit down right now is because, you know, I just woke up a couple hours ago. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning. That's early for me. Um, anyway, but it's pretty early in the morning, and, you know, I'm just doing a little commentary over this because I didn't just want you guys to watch a whole video of just fireworks muted. I mean, that would be pretty boring. And also, if you don't want to watch the rest of this fireworks show, you can skip ahead because there's stuff after this fireworks show that you can watch. I mean, the video's obviously very long, so, you know, it's a little 4th of July special going on, you know. But next year, if I do film this, I definitely, definitely, definitely need to use a tripod because my hands are shaky when I'm holding a camera. I don't know why, they just are. And I'm not used to shooting in real life videos because I don't really do that that often. I mean, there's only like three videos on my channel where it's in real life. And doing the vlog stuff, that was pretty fun stuff. I honestly liked it and I'm planning on doing more. I have a channel that it's just THB89797 without the gaming on it. And that's where I plan to do some vlog stuff in the future. So that would be pretty cool. I honestly want to get a camera that's more vlog friendly, obviously. So it's going to be pretty cool once all that happens. So I'm looking forward to that, obviously. It's going to be pretty cool doing the vlogs. And not doing in real life videos, I kind of, uh, I'm kind of inexperienced with the camera. My hands are shaky with it. Um, sometimes in this video, my focus goes out and I don't know how to fix it. So I kind of just zoomed in and zoomed out and let it auto adjust. There's a lot of video things that I don't know how to do. I can edit Call of Duty things, but I cannot record with a with a video camera worth my life. And that's something I need to get better at. I have a tripod. I know how to operate a tripod. It's pretty easy. Um, but I just didn't use a tripod. So uh, next year, definitely, definitely, definitely am going to need to use a tripod. Also, if you guys have any thoughts on what I should do next year, because honestly, my, my town that I live in, we have a pretty big 4th of July parade. It's actually one of the biggest in the in the country, actually. I believe there were like something something crazy of people showed up to it. Uh, people that know me, correct me if I'm wrong, but so, somewhere I heard 70,000, and that seems unreal to me. But I'm not 100% sure. I, I heard that somewhere. 70,000 or 7,000, I have no clue, but there were a lot of people. In fact, back in June, the beginning of June, people were putting chairs out on the sidewalk of our town just so they could have a seat to this parade. It's pretty crazy. People take it to the extreme. I honestly had the chance to be in it because hockey players all had the chance to be in it, and you even like get paid such and such to be in it, but I decided not to because I just figured it would be a mess. Um, so I actually ended up going, um, what happened was, uh, my dad's, uh, motorcycle, he has Yamaha FJR, uh, FJR, jeez, I almost said FGR, FJR, uh, which is a sport touring bike, if any of you guys are into bikes, you guys probably know what it is, but, uh, it's a pretty nice bike, and what we did is, we were taking it apart to try to, uh, lubricate the clutch plates, and, uh, the bike kind of, uh, got messed up, we got an error on it. So we had to go to the uh, Advanced Auto, and we went there to get uh, some <clears throat> dot four bra um, brake fluid, which is what the bike uses for the clutch fluid. So uh, we had to bleed that out and just get it fixed. And uh, at the end of the day, we did get the bike fixed, and uh, we f we got to ride it. We went out on a ride, and uh, you know those country roads where it's like a double yellow line. Well. When, well, uh, you know, uh, sometimes whenever there's the one side um, solid yellow and the other side's uh, dashed yellow, but they, so you can pass the other car. Well, there was this Hummer in front of us, and uh, he was trying to speed up. He was trying to be pretty cool. Um, so uh, <clears throat> I was riding on the bike, uh, on the back of my dad's bike, and uh, he just punched it into third gear and just gunned it. And we flew right past that Hummer. That thing goes up to 100 so fast. Sorry if my, my voice is getting a little... <clears throat> sorry about that. But we ended up getting the bike working. But 
We took the back way to get there, thank God, because if we didn't, we would have been held back because of the parade. We completely forgot about the parade. Completely forgot about it. So we would have been screwed. It would have been pretty bad. So my 4th of July was pretty good. Let me know down in the comments how I can improve all of this stuff, the in real life stuff, as well as leave down in the comments what you guys did in 4th of July because I'm curious to know. So, and the fireworks show is actually nowhere near over. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be playing two songs for you. And they're actually the same song. However, they are different. The first one was released on June 14th. And the second one is the final version of the song, which was released on July 3rd, <clears throat> 2012, of course. So, let me know what you think of it. The band is Kuza Black in Sin City. I will leave a link in the description to their website. Check them out. My cousin is actually uh, the bass player in that band. They're doing pretty good. They're doing some great work. So let me know what you think. Like I said, link is in the description to their band. It is the same song I've been playing at the end of all of my videos lately. If you follow my channel, you guys should probably know what the song is. It is called Karma by Kuza Black. So let me know down in the comments how that is and be sure to check out their website. Alright guys, I'm losing my voice and here's the rest of the video.
about it now The, the damage is done So yeah, that was the fireworks show. Uh, I'm still, hang on, let me. All right, uh, I'm still debating whether to do any of this because I've been saving them for years now. I mean, I don't know. I mean, they're just sparklers, and these little things are 
me see if that will focus. Yeah. See, I don't... Okay, let's read this. Flammable emits flashes of lights. <laughs> Says lightning flash and TNT on the front. Whatever. <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway, so happy 4th of July, guys. I hope you liked it. Next year, I'm definitely using a tripod because I was shaking everywhere. Like, my camera was like... Yeah, but uh, definitely next year, I'm using a uh, tripod no matter what. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so happy 4th of July. Oh, what the... Alright, <laughs> Happy 4th of July, guys. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know how I can improve this because, as you know, I'm not usually doing in real life videos. So, just let me know and I'll be sure to uh, improve them. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.